What is up, America? How are you guys doing? Welcome to another Backyard and Beyond. I'm your host, Chef John, and today we're downtown Augusta, everybody. That's, That's right. right. We're here at Second City Distillery. I've talked about it. I've told y'all y'all need to be here, we teased join it. us, come get stuff from them. So I had to come down here and do a show. Had to. Just We've been to teasing it for weeks. Teasing it for weeks, guys. Teasing it for weeks. As always, I got my man, Jordan Johnson, on the ones and the twos, reading out all your comments, questions, and concerns. Put them in the comment section, and he'll be reading that stuff out. But yeah, it's Halloween week here at Rec Tech, so we're going to be doing all things <laughs> Halloween. Did you hear those ghosts? I did. I heard those <laughs> ghosts out there. It's an old building. <laughs> so we'll be doing our favorite Halloween-themed recipes for you guys. And today, I'm not going to let you guys down. I'm going to get the week kicked off with some spooky meatballs, Ooh. eyeball meatballs is what we're going to be doing today. It is an awesome recipe to do with the family. You know, they're delicious and they're fun to make so easy they're going to be really really easy mm. all right so let's go over the ingredients so what i have here is three pounds of ground chuck right i'll be using a little bit of oil we have our onion and we also are going to be using from our good friends at what is this spinatos spinatos <laughs> thank you so much for your vodka cream sauce this stuff is delicious i'm going to cheat and be using this today uh, we're going to be seasoning everything with the freaking greek and the Ben's Heifer Dust, mm. always the Ben's Heifer Dust. It's so delicious. All right, so I'm going to be cooking on the RT340. You know I love this grill. It's my favorite grill that we make at Rec Tech. Why? Because it's portable. It heats up extra fast, and it maintains that heat so, so well. All right, so I have it set at 350 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this delicious vodka sauce in a little saucepan. And then we're going to go ahead and throw this straight on the grill and let it start to heat up. Now, John, everybody is checking in right now from all over the country. I love it. Everybody's checking out what we're doing. I uh, Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You know I love what I do. While you we, know I do. While we wait for some questions to flow in, John, i got to ask you, yes. what inspired this uh, meatball eyeball dish? Okay, so every Halloween, you know, as a chef, every Halloween, well, actually every holiday, people are like, Chef John. You know, are you going to cook something? What are you making this holiday? What are you making this holiday? So for Halloween, I usually like to take that day off, you know, and just enjoy everybody else's spooky food. But they always make me cook something, so I always do meatballs. It's an awesome dish, easy, delicious, and I'm making it a little spooky with the onions. Yeah, it's so cool. All right, so what we're going to need is our big stainless steel bowl. If you guys haven't gone out and bought yourself a big stainless steel bowl or ordered one off of Amazon, I really don't know what you're doing with your life. You need one. You really do. Touche. All right, so we're going to put our ground beef in. Is that 80-20? That is 80-20. Good question, Jordan. Look at you learning your uh, meat facts. <laughs> so proud of you. <laughs> All right, and then I got that Colden's Freaked Greek. We're going to put about two tablespoons of the Greek in the bowl. Beautiful. Then we're going to put about a tablespoon of that heifer dust and you know I use the heifer dust on all of my beef products it all all of them Jordan they all get a little bit of heifer dust on there a little secret from me to you I was making some burgers this week and John didn't have any heifer dust yeah what'd and you do? uh, well I damn near had a heart attack at first <laughs> I believe it but you know had to whip up something and just wasn't as good it wasn't as good no it never is Jordan it never is especially if you're whooping it up all right so what we're gonna <laughs> do is we're gonna go ahead and mix all of this ground beef I put a little bit of oil in there. That's going to make sh allow it not to stick to the grill. All right, it's perfect. All right, looks great. So now we're going to go ahead and sit the, stick this to the side, and we're going to use my favorite accessory from Rectech. Well, I would have to say, well, the Matador is not really accessory, is it, Jordan? So this well. would definitely be my favorite accessory to our grills is that grill mat, guys. If you have not purchased a grill mat, you guys really, really need to go pick it up. Non-stick, dishwasher safe. That's the best part. I mean, yeah, and it can withstand high heat. You know, I love this thing. I love it. All right, so we're going to get some our meat, and we're just going to roll some balls. Now it's time to roll some balls, Jordan. Your favorite pastime. <laughs> so let me ask you, John. When you're uh, doing that there, what kind of size are you going for? How, how do you pick the right size? Well, you want to make sure that they're at least about a two-ounce ball, right? Um, you want them big enough so that you could put the onion in there to make the eye and that it's going to be just fine. You know, okay. it's going to actually look like an eyeball. Now, a little chef tip. Now, you know whenever you guys cook proteins, they're going to shrink as they cook. So don't make little tiny meatballs because you're going to get smaller than the ones that you actually 
put on the map. And today I'm burning those Kingsford signature pellets. They are delicious. They're going to give these meatballs a delicious flavor and an awesome, awesome color. Those hickory pellets are uh, next is that Is that what you use, Jordan? You're the I hickory? like the hickory pellets too, yeah. Okay. All I right. kind of honestly like them all. Well, they're, they're, and the, the thing that I like about them, Jordan, is you could get them anywhere. Yeah, that's Any the best Walmart, part. Walmart, you know, you could pick them up. Lowe's, Home Depot. Dollar General. Dollar General. I mean, definitely, definitely don't sleep on those Kingsford pellets. And Kingsford knows fuel. They've been making it for like 100 years, you know? Come on. All right, so we're going to roll these out. I probably should have rolled a few out before we started because, you know, this takes a minute. But this is why you have, like, many hands make light work. Y'all ever heard that saying? This is why you have the kids involved. Now, when you say many hands, do you mean M-A-N-Y or M-I-N-I? <laughs> M-A-N-Y, okay. Jordan. That's, that's child labor laws prevent. <laughs> prevent what you're talking about, John. Uh, uh, Jordan, but I would love to know what everybody's cooking out there for Halloween. I know everyone's got special dishes that they would like to make. Um, please put it in the comment section. I would love to know it. Maybe I'll make something special that you guys recommend. Well, also, Jordan, yeah. next week... Guys, next week is, what is it? It's Fan Favorite Week at Rec Tech. So we'll be making the fa y'all's favorite dishes. That's right. So what we're going to need you guys to do is just put in the comment section what dishes you guys want us to make all week long. We're going to be making a different dish each week, each day. So make sure that you guys don't, and it's not for the whole week, just a day. So just pick a day, your favorite dish, put it in the comment section, and who knows? I think Jody said we're going to be giving something away to the person's dish. He said we dish might. We, he said we might. I think he did. I think he did. I'm going to hold him to that. I'm definitely going to hold him to that. All right. So we got these. I got one more left. Well, we do have some good questions coming in here. All right. Hit me with them, Jordan. One of the questions I keep seeing popping up is uh, what are the key differences between the 340 and the 700? The key differences? Yeah. All right. So key differences is... Definitely size. The 340 is 340 square inches of cooking space. The 700 is over 700 square inches of cooking space. Uh, then it would be the 340 is collapsible, right? Um, the legs fold in. The 700 does not do that. The hopper size is going to be different. But all the internal components are pretty much the same. It's going to be the same 304 stainless steel on the internals. It's going to be the same fire pot, just a little bit smaller for the 340. Uh, it's going to be the same auger motor, same everything else. So ceramic igniter, ceramic igniter, PID yeah. controller. Warranty is going to be a little different, yep. and the price is going to be a little different. But that's pretty much it. I love, love, love the 340. All right, let's go ahead and slide these bad boys in. Someone said it looks like we're grilling at the Parthenon today. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It's beautiful down here at Second City Distillery. Guys, if you guys have not come and check it out, you really, really need to. But, Jordan, let me go ahead and talk about this wonderful, wonderful grill real quick. All right, quick. hit me with it. I love the 340. It's that stainless steel build, you know. It's so durable. PID Wi-Fi controller, ceramic igniter, 340 square inches of cooking space, a 20-pound hopper, two-year warranty, $5.99, and ships free anywhere inside the United States. Do I need to keep going, Jordan? Because I can. Whew, I don't know that uh, I need any more. I mean, sold, this brother. grill is awesome. Built like a tank, Ray Carr. And the says. cool thing is, man, that PID algorithm that controls those Wi-Fi controllers, same thing used in commercial baking, That's brewing, right. pharmaceuticals. Tell them, Jordan. Tell them. Any, anybody that relies on maintaining a precise temperature, that's what they use, that's and what they so use. do we. That is totally what they use, and that's why we did not skimp. Even on our smallest grill, that's what we're doing for you guys. But speaking of doing stuff for you guys, we're going to be doing a giveaway in the, at the end of the show, so I don't want you to miss out on that. Plus, I'll be announcing last week's giveaway winners. And what do they win, Jordan? They win a rub and sauce bundle. That's right. What a else? A t-shirt of their, uh, well, of Backyard no. and Beyond. Backyard and Beyond yep, t-shirt. Yep, yep. That's right. And of course, an icer tumbler. Man, psh, we're giving away the farm. Giving away the farm down here at Second City Distillery in downtown Augusta, Georgia. We're having a great time. We left Evans, went rogue, came down here to Second City Distillery, and they were set up and ready for us. Quick shout out to all the people at Second City Distillery for hooking us up, making us feel welcome. They're a great bunch, guys. Come down here. Check them out. Come buy some delicious liquor from them. Yeah, you got to say hi to our boy Biff. That's right. You got to say hi to our boy Biff. And you got to stay hydrated. Not only do they sell the liquor, but they have a bar here already set up, ready to serve you guys. It is a wonderful time for anybody over the age of 21. Please come on down. Check out Second City Distillery. They are wonderful. 
Man, oh man. Yeah, Jordan. Yes, sir. We do have a couple questions right, out there. With them. This is a two parter. What okay. temp are you cooking at now? And if you wanted to, could you adjust that temp from your phone? You totally could uh, with that PID Wi Fi controller. You can run the whole grill right off of your phone. You know, the app, download that Rectech app, and you can run the grill right off your phone. So that means if you're at the ballpark, you want to go to a movie, you're going to go fishing, you can maintain, change, and watch the temperature of your grill from your phone. Well, I'm cooking at 350 degrees right now. Uh, but yeah, if we wanted to change that temperature, it would be so easy to like switch it up. But 350 is going to be the optimal temperature for these meatballs. It's really going to make them taste delicious. Jordan, you got any other great questions? You're like questions? a mad scientist, John. I, I am a mad. A spooky mad scientist. I am mad, that's for sure. I am Speaking totally Speaking of mad. spooky things, let me ask you. Yes. What is your favorite horror film of all time? Favorite horror film of all time? Okay, well, it's two. I have two. They're equally my favorites. <laughs> okay. And they both start with S. All right. All right, so The Shining, right? Come on, that's a classic. Everybody gets scared of The Shining, right? And The Stand. And what I didn't know, Jordan Johnson, yeah. is a lot of people don't know about The Stand. It's a Stephen King book that they turned into a miniseries. It's a sleeper. It's not, it's awesome. Yeah, it is a sleeper. It will totally scare your pants off. If you guys have not watched it, make that your holiday movie. You Both know, Stephen Jones King dropping. joints. The yeah. guy is a whiz. He's something. Shout out to Stephen King, He's bro. something. Actually, Jordan, this is a little fun fact. When I was in culinary school in New Hampshire, we actually drove by Stephen King's house in Maine. Did it look like Stephen King yes, lived there? Yes, he's got a big old black gate. like It was like 16-foot black iron rod gate surrounding his house with like some gargoyles on the top of it or something. It was pretty yep, spooky. Yep, that sounds like Stephen King's no, house. No, it was definitely, it was pretty spooky. Definitely spooky. Jordan, yes, sir. I'm a little thirsty, and I know that it's not 4:20 yet. Yep. Six minutes away. Can we just go ahead and just skip? To, oh, no, let's do the giveaway. Let's just All announce right. some winners. Let's okay. announce some winners All real right. quick. We'll try to hold off. We got three. You can save some. No, yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll announce three, Jordan. All right. Well, we'll let's go. Three. Let's do All it. Right. So, guys, last week I had you guys uh, hashtag. I don't remember what I asked you to hashtag, but I had you comment in the comment section to enter to win one. So three winners, and they're each going to win a uh, Backyard and Beyond shirt, which I don't have on, but they are awesome. You guys have seen them. Y'all love them. A Rectech uh, Icer Tumbler and a Rectech Sauce and Rub Spice Bundle. All right. So the three winners are Patrick Gara. Woohoo! Patrick, 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 Patrick. Right? All right. Ray Llewellyn. Ray, 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 Ray. Congratulations, Ray. And last but definitely certain not least, Dennis Vassbinder. Congratulations, you three. If you guys would just reach out to us, hit us up on our Rec Tech Facebook page. We'll confirm that it's you, and we will get those prizes out to you ASAP. And you guys get to choose what kind of cup you want, color and size, because there's three different sizes and a multitude of colors. So many colors. So many colors, just like the rainbow. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's go ahead and take a peek at these uh, meatballs and this sauce and see how they're doing. Ooh, these meatballs are looking delicious. They're not looking spooky yet. Definitely not looking spooky yet. We're going to go ahead and give this sauce a stir. All right. John, and our viewers. I'm going to go ahead and spookify these. Our, our viewers are freaking out a little bit because they can't see your headband. They think you went without your headband today. No, it's black on black. Black on black. It's hard to see, you know? Black on They're black. They're going wild. Where's John's headband? Guys, you would know. Believe you me, if I didn't have this headband on, my fro would be out there, <laughs> you know? What's the guy from The Roots, Jordan? Uh, Questlove. I look, it's like Questlove's fro. Shout out Questlove. All right. We need to get Questlove on the show. We really do need <laughs> to get Questlove on the show. That would be a show right there. All right, so now we're going to spookify these things. So I got the... I've got the meatballs in the grill, and I just want to get them a little par cooked, right? So now we're going to slice up these onions, right? Is there any key to not cry your eyes out when you do that? Just be a man. Okay. Yeah. Be a man. <laughs> we are not running and running. Be a man. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and slide these back off, and now we're going to get them spookified. So we're going to take the onion, right, and we're just going to go a little bit inside. Ooh, Chef John, these onions are spooky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not get carried away there, John. Come on now. <laughs> Does that not look spooky to you guys? That is absolutely terrifying. Okay. So we're just going to do a couple more. 
because I already have some finished for you guys. Because these are going to take about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Right? So we're just going to go ahead and you place the place the onion in. Right? Ooh. <laughs> it's looking spooky, Sherpa. That's what it looks like. All right, so we're going to go, we go around them. Spooktastic. Get those eyes out there. The kids are going to love these, though. You pick They're them up, easy to eat. So easy to eat, Jordan. Easy to make. Easy to make. Even Jordan Johnson would eat these. I like to make them with some cheese. Ooh, Sherpa said he'd add a little cheese to them. All right, so then you would finish these all off. Now, I already have some done, so that's why I'm not finishing these 100%. We'll put them back on the grill. Slot them straight in there. And look at that. You've got a pot on there, and you've got all those meatballs I'm on there. I'm telling you, 340 square inches of cookie space, this grill is awesome. It's deceptively large. It really is, Jordan. It really is. All right, let's go ahead and clear our station up real quick. Are you getting any smoke flavor on the meatballs at that temp? I am getting smoke. Well, see, guys, that's another thing. And uh, Barbecue Dad Jody Flanagan is great at this, but explaining this. But the grill is burning wood pellets. So... You're going to get smoke regardless if you're at 400 degrees or you're at 200 degrees. Now, granted, at 200 degrees, you're going to get a lot more smoke produced than you will at 400. But even at 400 degrees, you will still get smoke because it's burning that hard wood. That's right. And we're burning that Kingsford Signature pellet today. Mm, they are delicious pellets and going to give this dish a perfect, perfect color. Man, I know it's got to be about that time because I know that I'm sweating. It's about that time. You're it's, literally one minute away. I'm telling you right now, it's 419. You guys got a minute? <laughs> That's right. Well, let's go ahead and get it started. Bah, 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 bah. That's right. It's time for that Dirty Girl 420 moment brought to you by Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers, the premier cocktail mixers. If you have not gone out and tried Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers, there's something wrong with you first off, all right? I don't know why you haven't. I've been talking about it for years now. Go check them out. You can find them wherever cocktail mixtures are sold. And if you can't, ask for them. They're just trying to deny you all the good stuff. All right. So you know we're at Sick and City Distillery, so you know what drink I'm about to make. It's time for hashtag drink of fall, y'all. That's right. The drink that ends all drinks for fall. All right. <laughs> for so the one season. For the one season. Well, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's the drink for the hey, season, Jordan. Just wait. It's just wait till winter. That's right. That's right. You guys definitely wait till winter because, we, oh, I've already got a great winter drink planned for you guys. All right. Yeah. So what we're going to do is you're going to need your shaker, right? We're going to go ahead and fill this bad boy up with ice. All right. Ice. Then we're going to need our copper mug. I'll fill this up with ice. And then we're going to go ahead and take some of that delicious Second City salted caramel whiskey. Guys, come on. If you got, okay, now I understand if you don't live in Augusta or in the CSRA, and you cannot get this fine product, or you can't drive down here to get it. I kind of understand why you haven't gotten it yet. But if you guys go to carolinashipping.com, you could order this delicious product straight to your house. So there's no reason for you guys to deny yourself the pleasure of sipping on this delicious whiskey and all their fine, fine products. Plus, if you guys use Chef John 10 as y'all's code when you're checking out, you get 10% off that order. What? That's how I'm doing it for you. That's right. I like 10% off. I know you do, Jordan. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit this with one ounce of that salted caramel. Delish. And then we're going to go ahead and take, we're using that rabbit spit cinnamon moonshine today, guys. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to add a delicious hint of cinnamon. We're just going to go with one ounce of that moonshine. Delicious. Then we're going to go ahead and hit it with some of this. I have a little bit of apple cider in here. We're going to go with one ounce of apple cider. And remember, folks, John is a professional. These measurements are they're, exact. Uh, they're spot on. And then we're going to give it one ounce of that Dirty Girl Margarita Mix, a.k.a. Sour Mix. This stuff is delicious. Anything that takes sour mix, you can use. It's not just margaritas, Jordan. Anything that takes sour Amaretto mix. Amaretto sours. That's right. No high fructose corn syrup, vegan, vegetarian friendly. It is Awesome. And if you're terrified of gluten, it's gluten-free. Oh, gluten-free. I, I always forget the gluten-free one, Jordan. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit it with an ounce of the sour mix. Delish. Now we're going to go ahead and give it a shake. And if y'all know me, y'all know this is my favorite part. Yep. That's true. 
People used to pay money to see John shake it. Now you true. get it for free right That's here true. on Backyard and Beyond. You do get it for free, guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and pour it. Oh, look how good. So good. And then we're going to finish it off with just a little bit of ginger beer. Woo, buddy. Cheers to you guys. Hashtag drink fall, y'all. Mm. Cheers, buddy. Let mm. me know. What you tasting? Oh, it tastes like fall in my mouth. You get a little sweetness from the salted caramel. I taste cinnamon. You get a little bit of sour from the margarita. Uh, man, it is so, so good, Jordan. So good. Just mm. goes to show you, sour mix and margarita mix is not just a summer drink. No. Throw Treat it in yourself. that drink of fall. That's right. Treat yourself. That is what I'm talking about. All right, Jordan. Let's go ahead and take one more look at these meatballs and this sauce. Be careful. See how they're doing. Be careful Get opening here, that shirt. lid. It's going to be spooky. Ooh, that sauce is already starting to come to a nice little simmer. Those meatballs are starting to cook up delicious. I can see them getting nice and brown. They probably got about another 20 minutes on them, though. That sauce is about ready to come off, though. How do you know when the sauce is done? When it's hot, Jordan, when it comes to a simmer like that, okay. I usually like to give it about four to five minutes, and it's ready to come off. Okay. Yeah. So let it boil or good five minutes. Yeah, not boil. Simmer is okay. the correct terminology. Right. Boil, it's going to evaporate. Well, what's the, the difference? Well, I'm about to tell you, Jordan. Okay, great. Fantastic. Simmering, it does not evaporate the moisture out of the sauce as fast, and so it doesn't get as thick and it has less tendency to burn. When you're boiling something on high and full, it's evaporating all that stuff out of there, so you're left with all the solids and that burns. Wow. So just a little chef tip. Got it. From me to you and to Jordan. I love right it. There. I love it too, Jordan. All right, let me go ahead and show y'all what I'm working with. So I got, so I did some meatballs earlier, right? Ooh. Spooky. Get on in there, Sherp. Show the people. There's a big <laughs> one. There's a big one right there. Is he the leader? Yeah, that's the that's the king of the minions right there, Jordan. That is the king of the minions. All right, so what we're going to do now is I got my plate. I'm going to go ahead and get this sauce. Now, is there anything you would pair this with? How would you serve this? You know, you could do this. You could just do this straight up in the sauce okay. and let it, like, in a crock pot and let it simmer in the sauce. Uh, you could present it on a platter like I'm doing. You could put it on a sub and just put the eyeballs up, and that would be okay too, Jordan. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put a little sauce on my plate. Beautiful presentation. You like that? I'll try to amp it up for you a little bit, buddy. It's a nice touch. All right, now we're going to go ahead and place our meatballs down. We'll take our giant meatball and we'll put it down first. And then we'll have some baby meatballs coming off the side. John, we do have a question from Todd. He wants to know one more time, what was the website to order the Second City products? Carolina City Shipping, guys, dot com. Go check them out. Uh, if you go to... Um, Second City Distillery's Instagram page, in their bio, there is a link that you can go and click on, and it will bring you straight to carolinacityshipping.com, and you can order your product straight from there. Right. 10% off with Chef John 10. That's right. That's right. Don't sleep on that, guys. Go ahead and order now. You know, order up for Christmas. You know, I know it's a little early to be talking about Christmas, but you don't want to be caught with your pants down. You don't want to be a Scrooge. Never. So now's the time to start thinking about it. Second City Distillery makes great presents. Rec Tech Grills make great presents presents. Go ahead and start thinking about it. Let's put it in the back of your mind. I know we're almost at Thanksgiving. You know, we're not even there yet. So and talking you know, about Christmas it's is been a, a rough iffy year. For me. It's it been is. a rough it year. Is. Treat your family with a nice rec tech. Yeah, tr well, that's nice, Jordan, as you say, treat your family. But you know me, treat yourself. Well, well okay. Treat right. yourself to an awesome rec tech grill and some delicious Second City Distillery products. They're going to come ha in handy right around Christmas time when you're hanging out with those in-laws or you're coming yeah. home after from college or actually everyone's home from college. Even more reason to drink. Right. Carolina City Shipping. Go to it. Check it out. All right, Jordan, here you go. Come, let's take a look at these awesome, awesome meatballs. Don't they look great? They now, look fantastic. Jordan, you can hit these with a little Parmesan cheese. That would be totally acceptable. Um, it'd be really, really good. Um, you could finish it with either shaved or like shaken Parmesan, whatever you want. It'd be, that'd be delicious. Delicious. All right, Jordan, how do you feel about doing another giveaway today? I feel pretty good about it. You feel pretty good about I it? I feel pretty good about it. All right. I want to, uh, 
I've been giving away a lot, Jordan. Yeah. I've been giving away a lot because I love you guys, and I appreciate y'all hanging out with me and tuning in. It means the world to me. But today, we're going to give away three Backyard and Beyond shirts, right? All you've got to do is go in the comment section and hashtag Carolina City Shipping. Carolina City Shipping gets you a chance to enter to win one of three shirts. So we'll have three winners. I'll announce them next week on Backyard and Beyond. Thank you guys so, so much. That's easy enough. So easy. Guys, also, if you guys didn't hear, Jordan and I have another show that's coming out, y'all. That's right. That's right. It's going to be on Twitter. It's going to be on Tuesdays. That's tomorrow. And it's called Twitter Tweets? Tuesday Tweets. Tuesday Tweets, Jordan. Tuesday Tweets. You guys don't want to miss that. It's going to be at 4 o'clock on Twitter. We're going to be doing, like, bar food. It's going to be a real short show, but it's going to be super informative, a lot of fun. Me and JJ hanging out. I mean, what could be better at 4 o'clock? How right. else would you rather spend your 4 o'clock time We're than hanging out with me and JJ? You Two know? wild and crazy guys. Two wild and crazy guys. That's right. And also, Tuesday at 12 o'clock, we'll be doing lunch break. Uh, Jody's going to be bringing you something awesome and fabulous, that Halloween themed, and that's going to be kicking off at 12 o'clock on Rec Tech's Facebook page. Wednesday, we have After Hours, and that kicks off at 5 o'clock. That's me, Chef Greg, and Jody. The building's starting to close down. We've tossed back a couple. It's a really fun time. Set your notifications. That's going to be 5 o'clock on Rec Tech's Facebook page. Then Thursday, it's like my busiest day, Jordan, we've got lunch break on Rec Tech Girls' YouTube page. That kicks off at 12 o'clock. And then at 4, we have Product Spotlight, which is a chance for us to show you all products that you've asked about. So Jody and I go a little bit more in depth with just to give you all a little bit more information. That kicks off at 4 o'clock on Rec Tech Grill's Facebook page. Then at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard, your boy, Late Night Munchies. Mm. Y'all know what time it is. Late night. Late night. We'll be doing something awesome for Halloween because it's Halloween week here at Rec Tech. And then on Friday, we're closing out the week, 12 o'clock, fun day Friday, every Friday at 12 o'clock. We haven't missed one yet, Jordan, have we? No, and we spun that wheel last week. We it sure landed on a 700. That's right. So we'll be announcing a get. We'll be announcing the giveaway winners for the 700 plus. We'll be spinning that wheel of Rec Tech again. It's a great, great time. And then you think it's over with that? No. Then Friday, 6:30, gates open. Rec Tech movie night. We're all pulling up to the parking lot. We have food trucks out there. We have the Rec Tech playground all sanitized and cleaned off, ready for you guys to come out. And we're playing the best of Halloween movies. Jordan, you know what we're playing this week? I'm not quite sure oh. what we're playing this week. Adam's oh, oh, the, the Adams, Adams family. family. <laughs> but up and a up Halloween up. classic, guys. So make sure you bring the whole family out. <clears throat> Gates open at 6.30. Movie starts at 7.30. There'll be food trucks out there. BYOB, bring a cooler. Bring your own food. I had some lady pull a table out. She had cheese and wine. It was great. It was a fun time. Make sure you don't miss it. Jordan, what you got? Yes, sir. I have a text message just okay. now coming in All right. from our fantastic boss and fearless leader, mm. the always stern but fair, lovable, beautiful Shannon Mitchell. Oh. She says, you're always forgetting the girls. Oh. You forgot to mention their show, John. I did, and I'm really sorry because it's the newest show, Shannon. I'm so sorry. But, guys, I do not <laughs> want to forget the ladies. They are killing it these days, killing it with Bar BQ. Make sure you tune in. That's going to kick off on Wednesdays now at 12 o'clock. Make sure you guys tune in. It is fun. They always are doing something really cool. They've had two shows so far, and they have smashed it. I'm their biggest fan. Biggest fan. So, guys, make sure you tune in to that. Wednesdays at 12, barbecue. And go ahead and follow them on Instagram. Uh, they've got a whole little Instagram page. All their food's on there and stuff. They're doing a great job. So proud of you, ladies. So, so I proud. think you made them right. Did I make it right? You made it right. Okay. I just got an LOL, so we're all good. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad I made it right. Well, guys, I've had an awesome time down here at Second City Distillery. Make sure you guys come down here this weekend. Check them out. Uh, Biff, y'all are open, what, Monday through Monday through Saturday, they're open. Uh, come down, hang out with them. Tell them Chef John sent you. They're a great bunch of people. I'm so happy that they ha invited us down here and we were able to uh, hang out with them today. Jordan, we got anything else? I got nothing, brother. Guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Remember, take care of one another. Listen to one another. And never forget, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Woo! Do, do, do. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Do, do, do. Special thanks do, do, to Second do, do. City. Rec Dave Tech Miller lifestyle. checking in. Said it. Jeff Gately, Peter when Brucker, going Jimmy Glass. What's up, Jimmy? Life the way you like. Sean D. McCarthy.